feels weird because I'm in control of everything else. Why aren't I in control of that? Why can't I stop myself from doing that? Like I have to go like that every single second. I just feel like kind of funny inside. I say like, why can't I stop doing this? Why can't I stop doing this? I had a tick, like a really loud screeching noise. All the kids would like tell me to stop and just keep staring at me. Things trigger ticks and like let's say reading letters, I guess. Like every time you come to the letter P, you'd have to jump like on one foot, like that. You feel like a, a marked man. Tourette's isn't like a whole another person. Like me, I'm a regular kid. These are the voices of Tourette's. It's there. Why do you have to make fun of it? Why are you doing that? That's so annoying. Could you please stop? All of these young people had the courage to take part in a recent documentary called I Have Tourette's, But Tourette's Doesn't Have Me, which was produced by HBO and the Tourette's Syndrome Association. They also had the desire and courage to educate the rest of us. Do you ever feel like alone or different from everybody else or do you just feel like anyone else? I do feel different sometimes. Not all the time. My friends help me keep it nice up in gear. <laughs> Once considered a rare and sometimes strange disorder, some experts estimate that Tourette's disorder impacts nearly 4% of young people between the ages of 5 and 18. We are learning more about this disorder, which typically begins in childhood. Thankfully, it is treatable, and we are beginning to break down barriers and reduce stigmas attached to these patients through education. On April 3rd, Dr. Mahmoud Okasha, a member of the Bacchus Medical Staff and Associate Clinical Professor at Yale School of Medicine, will give a presentation geared towards parents and guardians of children and teens who are dealing with tics and Tourette's. We hope you will attend. Recently, Dr. Okasha spoke about his upcoming symposium and the tics and Tourette's disorder. Motor tics, uh, blinking, uh, winking, um, raising the eyebrows, that would be a simple tic. Uh, a complex uh, motor tic will be something like uh, skipping, uh, bending one's knees, extending one's arms uh, and, and flexing it. Uh, when we talk about uh, phonic tics, uh, phonic tics are utterances that can be again simple or complex. A simple uh, utterance like uh, snorting or uh, clearing one's throat or um, yelping, these, are, these would be described as uh, simple uh, phonic uh, tics. More complex ones would be uh, utterances that uh, lead to people either saying a syllable like hi or how, how uh, or um, a, a complete sentence like I love you. Uh, you may have heard that uh, uh, with Tourette's uh, you sometimes have uh, the person uh, utter profanities. Well, that, that happens but it's not uh, very common. At school, most of the time, I have to hold in my tics. Like, my jerking hands or neck. But that's really unlike up here. It's really a great place to just be yourself.